So many people will come and say, look, I'll buy a fixer upper from you. Just give me a great price. So if I buy it for 20 cents on the dollar, I might sell it for 40 or 45 cents on the dollar and make a nice profit. I think that's a great business. It works for me. So I want to buy it low and then I want to sell it low and I want to do it fast. Ted, one way you can profit from selling tax deeds is to buy and fix them up. Can you share your opinion on this strategy, the positives and the negatives? Okay, well, it's mostly positive. Uh, first of all, uh, the American way is to find a fixer upper property and uh, paint it, clean it, put a little white fence around it and do whatever's necessary and then resell it. Now, there was a time in the United States that that was uh, not only a great thing to do, but there's still a time in the United States where this infomercial is running every night saying, buy this property, fix it up, and you'll make a lot of money when you sell it. Well, I teach people how to buy a tax defaulted auction. So I'm basically trying to teach them to buy at a very low price, usually 10, 20, 30 cents on the dollar with no mortgage or deed of trust. All right, so what are you gonna do with those properties? Well, a lot of people wanna fix them up. Well, uh, I'm not against fixing them up, but I think you have to be very cautious before you do that. So let's say you could buy a property at an auction and you could buy it for 20 cents on the dollar. And let's say the value of that property is way up there at $200,000 and you could buy it for 20 cents on the dollar. That would mean you spent $40,000. Well, that certainly give you a lot of margin there. All right, so what are you gonna do with the property? Well, most people wanna sell it, but right now we're gonna talk about doing rehabilitation. All right, now if you're gonna fix a property up and you know how to do that, I'm not going to say don't do it. But if you haven't fixed up a property and you don't know that it's very important to understand the ARV, meaning the after repair value, then how are you gonna to get to that point of fixing it up? Are you a carpenter? Are you an electrician? Are you, do you know how to fix roofs? Do you know how to put concrete down? Do you know how to paint? Do you know how to clean? There's a lot of work to do. Now in the old days, you could fix a kitchen for you know thousands of dollars. Now it's tens of thousands of dollars. You could fix a bathroom for a few thousand dollars. Now it could be easily $10,000 or more. So I'm not negative on this, but here's what I'm, I have to say. I prefer to buy the property and then resell it and then let the guy or gal that knows how to re rehab property, let them do the rehab on it because that's what their specialty is. Or you might want to find a renovator that likes to re rebuild those properties. Like you see the television shows all the time now that people take, take a property and completely renovate it. And what happens when they do that, they're knocking down walls with sledgehammers and knocking down fireplaces and making big rooms and carrying beams in and uh, fixing rooms and laying concrete. That's all very expensive work. So I'm not against that, but you have to have a lot of skills to be able to do that. So fixing up property is something you really have to think about. Here's my preference. I prefer to buy it. Now I know what I'm buying. I'm buying used and abused. I want to try, try to figure out who I'm going to sell that to before I buy it. I'm going to know who I can sell it to. And I know what my price is that I'm going to sell it. If you have nice, pristine property and everything's perfect, that's great. I'm not in that business. I buy properties at tax defaulted auction. They're used, they're abused. I didn't say they were junkers. I didn't say they were falling down. I didn't say they had hurricane damage. I didn't say they had flood damage. I don't want any of those. But many properties that go to auction can be rehabilitated for a small amount of money. So if that's the case, I want to buy at the best price I can. So if it's a $100,000 value, according to the tax assessor, and I could buy that for 10 or 20 cents on the dollar. I then want to mark it up and resell it to someone that's either going to be a, a rehabber, a guy and gal that's going to do that, or, a, or I, I find someone that wants to be a flipper, or I can sell it into the regular marketplace by using seller financing because many sellers uh, like myself are looking for people that are willing to put a little elbow grease in. In other words, a little labor where they can fix the property themselves. So many people will come and say, look, I'll buy a fixer upper from you. Just give me a great price. So if I buy it for 20 cents on the dollar, I might sell it for 40 or 45 cents on the dollar and make a nice profit. I think that's a great business. It works for me. I'm trying to make 25 to $50,000 on the profit. And I don't want to hang around and worry about that after repair value because roofs cost a lot of money today. Bathrooms and kitchens cost a lot of money today. The marketplace takes a long time 
to find the contractors to come in and do that work. I don't have the ability to do that work, so I want to buy it low, and then I want to sell it low, and I want to do it fast. So there's well over 5,000 tax defaulted auctions every year, and you can find out how many properties they have, when they're available, when the auction's going to take place, and what the pricing is. All you have to do is go right below me. It's absolutely free.